All right, so we're out here, beautiful day at Big White Ski Resort, and we're thinking about riding terrain that's a little bit steeper, riding at speed, and snowboarding is all about position and the way that we stand on the board. So we know that at novice speeds, intermediate speeds, really important to make sure that everything's nice and neutral and aligned. Front hand over the nose, back hand over the tail type of idea. If we're gonna ride steeper terrain, and we're gonna be riding at speed, we're gonna change that up a little bit and experiment with a different position. All right, so when the speed is nice and low and there's not much force acting on our body, we can stand in that neutral position. But the challenge when we go fast with snowboarding is there's lots of rotational momentum, a lot of forces that are gonna pull us out of that position. So what we can do to counter that is adjust our body position a little bit. And I'm gonna turn my hips and my shoulders just a little towards the nose of the board so that this part of my body, the muscles in the core of my body are just turned on a little bit. I'm also gonna to shift to the back foot just slightly so that when I move up and down, I'm able to stay nice and stacked on top of the snowboard. So the key with that position is by turning slightly to the nose of the board, it turns on these muscles and that provides that countering force to any of those sort of rotational forces that might pull me off balance. Um, the other thing that happens there when I've got that slight rotation in the hips, I can move up and down in a little bit more efficient way so that I don't get uh, bent over from the waist, which is a really weak position to end up in on the snowboard. So just to sum it all up, if we're riding uh, mellow terrain, flatter terrain, lower speeds, nice and aligned, front hand over the nose, back hand over the tail, keeps our hips in a good position over the board. As the speed comes up, the pressures that come with that come up on steeper terrain. So we can adjust that a little bit, let those hips turn a little bit to the nose of the board, shift the weight slightly to the back foot, and give yourself that uh, countering force to resist being pulled off balance so you can handle those higher speeds. Also frees up your knees and your feet to do the, the job of turning the snowboard. Thanks for checking out this Cassie snowboard tip. I'm Jeff Chandler from the Canadian Association of Snowboard Instructors. Remember, once you can turn left and right on the snowboard, there's tons more to learn. Visit your local resort and take a lesson with a Cassie certified snowboard instructor.